Center on Technology. Hi, Conrad. Hi, Jeff. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. Uh, Conrad, a lot going on. Always. I mean, I haven't bought my new laptop. I'm still sticking with my old, uh, uh, you know, device here, but yeah. I haven't done anything. I've gone to stores a couple times. They keep telling me, buy, 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 but the store's empty, especially the Microsoft store. Yeah, well, it's not too just crowded. remember the old adage, don't buy technology until you need it, because yeah. when you buy it, it's going to be obsolete. Right. But it's amazing, you know, you go into Apple, they're so, they're buzz, 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 buzz. And then you go in the Microsoft store, and it's, it has everything from every company, and there's no buzz, buzz, buzz. There's no one in there. Yeah. There's no one in there. What's going on? That's how it works right now. Apple is, it, Apple is the kid, you know, the kid's in the Apple store. They're, they're, they, they like the devices, they're familiar with the devices, they're friendly. Microsoft's coming after the fact, trying to introduce a product that you already kind of have in a tablet. They're saying that it's a tablet laptop, they, they've got to get it more proficient, more effective in order for it to really take off in the marketplace. Right, and the problem is if you want a tablet, you're going to get, what is it, a hundred times more apps on the Apple product? Oh yeah, that's right. The app, and that's the thing with tablets and, and smartphones, is the apps are, are a big selling point, and, and Apple's been around so long, they've got a lot of apps. Microsoft's catching up, Android's catching up. Android has a lot because Android's, it's open so yeah, open source. People I know who are on Android, they like it a lot. <clears throat> yeah, they do like it a lot. It's open source, so it's not a closed source like the Apple. But, um, but that's but it's funny you shall bring that up because what I wanted to talk about today is the BYOD, which is bringing your own device to work and being able to use that device to access data from your office. Um, that's a big issue right now. They called it a trend forever, but it's really no longer a trend. It's kind of an accepted thing now. Kids go to work, people, new employees go to work, and they want to be able to use their phone for accessing the data on a, 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 com, a company server. And there are obviously security concerns and those types of concerns associated with that, and that's what I wanted to discuss today. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so um, first question most people co coming into it are going to be, in, it, you know, if I'm looking at the individual side, they're going to look at it and say, who's going to pay for this? Well. I got good news and bad news for you. You can use your phone, but statistically, 76% of the larger businesses are supporting the bring your own device. Only 8% are actually helping to pay for your own device. So some companies will give you a stipend to help pay your cell phone for the business quote unquote usage of it. And some companies, a very small percentage, a very small percentage will pay the entire amount, but that's just not the standard. If you're going to be allowed to use your phone to access company data, there are steps you're going to need to take as a business owner to make sure that the devices that are being accessed using your data are secure. So you need to create a policy. That policy should have 10 steps to it. It should have, it should identify, hey, who can actually access this data in my company? And what devices are we going to allow to access? You can't, you can't just carte blanche allow every device to access your data. You've got to have certain ones. You've got to research. Are we going to let Apple's uh, devices be able to access our data? So our employees that have Apple's can. Are we going to allow Blackberries? Are we going to allow the Android? But you have to be specific. We're going to allow these two or three phones, these two or three uh, uh, laptops, and these two or three um, tablets and that's it and then support those with security because then you can identify what security needs need to be put in place part of it's just explaining to the employee hey you're going to read a security policy you're going to accept it and we're going to hold you to that security policy um, 